Hi, I'm back again. Just came back from a wonderful trip, saw lots of art, and I'm going to talk to you a little about that. First, I want to show you some of the new stuff I've been working on. This is done with all the um, golden uh, fluid acrylics, and I've been playing with them. It's great fun, lots of texture in it, and that's where I am right now. So I started a trip. We went down to, um, um, oh, San Francisco. My mind just left me there. But we started off in Vancouver, and I went to the Vancouver Art Museum there, and Lauren Harris, who is one of the founding members of the Group of Seven, had a show there. And this amazing artist truly inspired me because I went from room to room and I thought I was seeing different artists as I watched his transition through his life. He started off doing all kinds of realism beautifully, beautifully done. And as we went from room to room, as his years went on, about every 10 years he would change and became more and more abstract and more and more spiritual and just more loose and live and color and it was a beautiful, beautiful exhibition. So if you get a chance, you'll have to take a trip down to Vancouver and go through the Vancouver Art Gallery and take a look at Lauren Harris and see if you feel what I felt when you were going through because it was, it was pretty beautiful. Then we flew down to San Francisco and oh, what an art community down there. And there were terribly, oh, so many music, um, art galleries we went through and one of them actually had Leroy Neiman in it who was... Um, best known, well I actually wrote it down so I won't forget what I'm saying, he was best known for his brilliantly colored, stunning, energetic images of sporting events and leisure activities. I'll show you some pictures of what he did. And he was one of the most popular living artists in the United States before he passed in 2012. And beautiful bright colors and big and he broke a lot of the rules and he just did whatever he wanted to do and again that inspired me because I don't follow rules a lot, and I don't think art should. I think it should be whatever it is inside you and let it out. And then I'm walking on the streets, and there's all kinds of artists on the street, just street artists and um, caricatures that would do, they're, they're doing people for like $2 to do their whole face, sitting there for half an hour and charging $2 remarkable, beautiful work, all kinds of pictures of the bay and, and of the bridges and all different age groups and different characters. Some of them didn't want me to take them. They're like, no, no, don't take my picture. And others are like, oh no, here's my stuff. And it was just such an eclectic group of artists that I, I, I totally reveled in it. All kinds of art. Hello. <laughs> The fish are replicas of real fish I paint from photographs. It's um, a color paint on fine. Mm, and then I put a polymer coating on it, right. which is equal to 50 coats of varnish. Mm -hmm. wow. I only have to put it on once, yeah. thank goodness. <laughs> and then I put two coats of regular varnish on the back, so you can hang them outside or on a boat if you want to. Very cool. Thank you. You're welcome. That's the Hawaii state fish. The humu humu nuku nuku Thank you. Then we took a trip over to Alcatraz and I saw something there I really wasn't expecting. We went through the prison and went through this video tour and they're showing and we got to a certain set of cells and there were art supplies in the cell and old um, pallets of dried paint and wooden pallets they painted on and hanging pictures of sketches and artwork they had done, pictures of their side of the bay from the prison. And it struck me, I had just come from the bright sunshine with the artists on the street, and then there were these artists that had lived in jail in the most horrid of places. This, this jail was meant for the worst of the worst, and yet they still needed to create. And it, it just, it really inspired me and hit me that People from all levels of society, everyone has that urge to just let their colors out and to paint. And it doesn't matter if you're in jail, you're on the streets of San Francisco, you're one of the most famous of all artists and one of the, one of the seven and the founding, founding fathers of, of the seven. You still paint for the joy of painting. And I just wanted to share that all with you because I came back 
really feeling wonderful about how different I am in my art and how it's okay for me to express and be who I am. And I wanted to share that. And I hope you all go out there and be who you are with your paint. Bye for now.